Cold water doesn't make you flinch anymore? Yeah, that's not a coincidence. Here's what's happening. Your teeth have these microscopic little tunnels called dentinal tubules. When your enamel gets worn down, either from acid, brushing too hard, or just life, those tubules get exposed. And when cold or hot stuff hits them, that sharp nerve pain, that's fluid moving through the tubules and hitting your nerves. Nanohydroxyapatite helps by literally plugging up those tunnels. It deposits calcium and phosphate back into the enamel surface, sealing off those exposed areas so that nothing can sneak in and hit your nerves. That's why sensitivity goes away for so many people when they switch to a nanohydroxyapatite toothpaste. In fact, multiple studies have shown that nanohydroxyapatite is just as effective as fluoride and possibly better at reducing sensitivity. That's because fluorapatite forms a harder, more acid-resistant surface, but it doesn't bond to the exposed dentin quite as well. Nanohydroxyapatite, on the other hand, is bioidentical to what your teeth are made of, so it integrates more naturally and effectively seals those exposed tubules. As for cavities, let's talk about that too. Cavities form when demineralization outweighs remineralization over time. In the very early stage, you'll get a small lesion in your enamel that hasn't broken through to the dentin yet. This is the stage where remineralization can help. Fluoride and NHA can both reverse those early enamel lesions before they turn into a full-blown cavity. But once the decay breaks through the enamel and hits the dentin underneath, no toothpaste can fix that, not even fluoride. At that point, you need to see your dentist and get it treated properly. Still, stopping that process before it gets worse, that's powerful, and that's what nanohydroxyapatite is designed to do. And based on your comment, it's working.